Good evening, my name is Akisa Andera, sign language interpreter is Meresha Owiti. We begin this bulletin with some sad and sho shocking news of death in police cells and a suspect being held by police over a shooting incident of a former Garissa CC in charge of finance was found dead at Parklands Police Station where he was being held. His death is currently shrouded in mystery. The suspect, David Wanjiro Mwai, had allegedly confessed to having been the man who pulled the trigger that left Idris Mukhtar fighting for his life at a Nairobi hospital. David Moy and six others had been remanded at separate police cells. As police went on with their investigations into the incident, they were to also conduct an identification parade. Police claim that Moy committed suicide in the cell, which brings a new twist into the probe that is already presenting itself as a murky affair and whose motive detectives have indicated as a political. We're now joined by our crime and investigations reporter Brian Obuya from our city center studios for an update on that developing story. Brian, a very good evening. Thank you for joining us. What do we know as of now? Akiso, what we know is what the police are telling us from uh, the Parklands police station. And they say that uh, uh, David Wanjiru Mwai committed uh, suicide using his clothes at, uh, at, uh, at his, at inside the police cell where he was being held together with uh, six others. Uh, Idri, uh, Idris Mukhtar was shot uh, a few days back and uh, 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 and uh, David Wanjiru Mai was among the suspects being held and uh, in this uh, very uh, very crucial matter which has uh, which has actually pulled in even the Garissa governor Ali Korwane who was questioned by detectives a few days ago later on he tweeted saying that he had actually surrendered to police we understand that uh, uh, we understand that he was rushed to hospital that that is uh, the key witness in that case David Wanjiru Mai he was rushed to hospital, but he was pronounced dead at the MP Shah hospital. Now, even then, there are very crucial questions which are emerging from this so-called suicide at the Parklands police station. It is unclear, Akisa, how a suspect will commit suicide and the other inmates and the, other, uh, the others whom he was sharing a cell with uh, were making noise calling onto the police. Police at uh, the Parklands police station say that one of them had noise and he actually thought that inmates inside there was singing. It's unclear what amount of noise, what type of noise would be made by inmates that would actually be confused for a song inside a police cell. And it is then that we are informed that uh, this police officer called on other officers whom together rushed into the cell and found out uh, that uh, David Wanjiru Mwai was hanging lifeless having committed suicide using his clothes. What we don't know is uh, these very other inmates who were inside that very police, uh, that, that, that very cell, uh, and were shouting for help from police officers outside the cell. What were they doing when uh, this uh, uh, David Wanjiru Mai was uh, all along tying up his clothes to commit suicide up to that very minute when he actually died before they called on to police at uh, the Parklands police station for help to come and check on what exactly was going on inside that cell. Now, David Wanjiru Mai Akisa is a very important name in this investigation that is going on. This is a man, detectives say, had confessed to having pulled the trigger that almost took the life of uh, uh, Mukhtar, of uh, Garissa, former CEC of Finance, one Mr. Uh, Mukhtar, who is currently fighting for his life at a Nairobi, at a Nairobi, at a Nairobi hospital, uh, of course, here in the, in the capital. Police say they have CCTV footage on um, where these people met, where they hatched the, pl the plot, and also the vehicles that were used. Of the, of, of the amount of money that was summing up to 2.4 million, police say they have been able to recover 
400,000. And the motive of this is yet to be established. But this suspect, Sakisa, even went to an extent of visiting uh, Charles Kanjama's office, so we understand. And uh, the plot was, uh, was clearly to... The, the plot was uh, clearly to to also eliminate uh, the lawyer and this plot has also been linked to and made it to it has been made to sound as uh, as political uh, given that uh, Mukhtar and uh, his law and his lawyer Kanjama had gone to court challenging the authenticity of the papers of uh, of Garissa governor Ali Korane and that is highly being speculated to be part probably what detectives are piling up as a motive to this very troubling death of a suspect inside uh, police cells. It's a story that continues to shock the country, one which investigative investigators continue to follow, and one which also, as here on the KTN Crime and Investigations Desk, we continue to keep a very close eye on to ensure that we give you each and every detail of the twists Brian. and turns as uh, they take place. Akisa. Definitely very shocking details there, Brian Obuya, but do we know when these suspects were expected to be arraigned in court? What was the status of the investigation prior to this latest incident of the alleged suicide by one of the key suspects. A magistrate had actually visited the suspects in court, the, the six of them, and uh, after assessing their situation, he granted police orders to keep them for an extra 14 days, which detectives had actually sought. They had sought that they be allowed to keep the suspects as they go on with the investigations for an extra 14, uh, an extra 14 days. So it is actually... Uh, it's actually uh, in a period whereby these 14 days are almost lapsing when, uh, when these very shocking uh, details are emerging, when we know for sure that uh, one David Wanjiru Mai would have been a very important man, a suspect who has confessed to pulling the trigger and one who claims was given money to buy uh, a weapon that was used in this uh, very exercise and 15 bullets of which detectives claim have recovered 14 of them and also a bodyguard and a former soldier who was also part of the plot hatched to bring down the man whom the court had granted 50 million for wrongful dismissal by the former administration akisa brian thank you for that update brian Obuya, our crimes and investigation reporter there giving us the latest very shocking details on how an inmate allegedly committed suicide the key suspect in the case um, where the former finance cc of garissa was shot he's currently fighting for his life at the nairobi hospital and this particular case has also pulled in the governor ali korane who just the other day was questioned the entire day at the cid headquarters we continue to follow up this story for you as we unravel the details here on KTN News. Let's